What's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Double Peter Cop the General man back with another video and uh I just want to say man shout out to everybody that's following my channel and sub to my channel that's uh hitting me up daily every day I'm getting head ups I still got the Nike hoodies on deck bro I can still rock them but you know what I mean for y'all I don't think y'all can actually get this hoodie but uh this is one that I got saved over you feel me that basically was in my closet since they shut down the machine so a lot of people have been hitting me up asking me to make clothes I haven't been able to make clothes because I'm banned from uploading images but for the people that want me to make more clothes I'm actually thinking about upgrading my other account to 85 just so I can make some clothes for y'all and get something back in the store bro I've been thinking about it the last two days but I don't want to get these niggas another $50 just to go to 85 to make some clothes for y'all and 2k19 is definitely on the way they've been promoting 2k19 since december bruh but over the last 24 to 48 hours bruh they've been posting actual footage pictures and getting niggas ready with dates and everything bruh so if you've been online on twitter following ronnie 2k or nba 2k you will see they made a drastic change over the last few days. I don't know if it's because it's summertime or what, but nobody has got their Kyrie's. It's summer. It's in June. They said they was going to send the shit out in the spring. Nobody got their shit, but look, it's the 20th anniversary edition of 2K19. Here's the trailer. How could they have known? How could they have known they stood before a king? How could they have known a newborn son? And a 16 year old hero sacrificing for each other in the 330. How could they have known? His drive, his power, the generations he inspired. Is he even human? There's no limit to his fire. How, How could, could they, they have, have known? known? The heartache he'd endured. From chosen one to falling short, he made perseverance his cure. How could they have known? He wouldn't stop at the sport. A champion for equality. This game is bigger than the court. How could they have known the legacy he'd create? That their hands could raise him up to greatest of the great. How could they have known what they knew deep down could come true? That the world would know his name and one day... They would know yours too. And after watching that, bruh, they didn't show no gameplay. They actually got people talking and all that, 2 chains and all them talking for us. So I can see that they trying to do a big movement with this 2K19 move. And if you're looking at the screen, this is just random gameplay. I mean, running games in the park. I ain't putting no sound effects or nothing to this. But uh, shout out to the two guys I was running with. And uh, yeah, man, that, that trailer didn't really get me too excited. Like I expected, I expected the trailer to have like some gameplay so I can see what will be different. You know what I mean? They got LeBron James like head in this 2K19. And I don't know if that's a good idea because every year they had somebody um be on the cover they got traded. Like for last year, Kyrie, for example, he had the Cavs jersey on on the cover and they had to change it to Boston. But uh if you've been to GameStop lately, bro, they, they promoting it. They actually got cardboard cutouts of LeBron James inside every GameStop around the world right now trying to get y'all ready for this 2k19 bro they actually saying it's gonna drop in september so i hope y'all ready for this man i hope y'all everybody been begging for a new update or a new whatever they just gonna bring a whole new game as you can see and uh they, they still got the the early play day you know for september so if y'all trying to get ready for september 7th bro y'all better get ready bro y'all better get ready because it's dropping september 11th and uh I figured it was gonna be around September or October like last year, but it seemed like right now they are really, really trying to push the issue and try to tell us about 2K so heavy right now. I don't know what it is. Me personally, I wish they would just fix 2K18, bro. I wish they would fix this. We got an update yesterday. I don't know if y'all know, but we got an actual update, a patch. Patch 11 came through last night and uh, they didn't give us no notes. Nobody gave us notes of what they put into this game last night. So for the people who got the update yesterday and shit, and y'all ain't seen no notes, bro, that's kind of suspect for me because I don't really know what they putting into the game. You don't know what they put into the game. I don't actually think they fixed anything. They just gave us a patch to really hold us over for 2K19. I'm pretty sure that's probably the last patch. 
And for the people that was getting immortalized, if you watched uh, 2K TV, that was the last 2K TV episode this weekend. So they really just killing the game off over this weekend, bro. They really just killing it off. This is like the last week of anything new coming about 2K18. They don't really care about nobody hitting 98 at this point or nobody trying to get to 99. I wish they would have did a big recap of all the 98s and 99s. That would have been dope for that 2K episode. But they didn't really give us nothing, bro. They didn't really give us shit. But uh, Ronnie 2K actually been posting since yesterday about 2K19. You know, they got it to where, you know, they will know your name. You know what I mean? I'm guessing they talking about LeBron or any great in a game. You know what I mean? They trying to, you know, mix it in with the game. But I, I'm, I'm guessing they talking about LeBron. They will know your name. Right now, LeBron in the finals, he balling out had 50 points. Even though they down two games, you can only do so much with the trash players he playing with, bro. I'm, I be watching the games like, bro, like George Hill and, and Kevin Love and all these niggas on the team with him is fucking trash. But uh, for LeBron to be getting his own little cover story for this game right here, you know what I mean? Last time LeBron was on the cover, he went to Miami. You feel me? Like I'm saying, every time they put a nigga on the cover, a nigga get traded to another team. So you already know LeBron probably about to lead the Cavaliers if he on 2K19 cover and they promoting it like that. I got a good feeling that he's not going to be on the Cavaliers that much longer. And uh, I enjoy watching the season, but... I like the finals more, and I'd rather for LeBron to win that shit than the Warriors because them niggas been winning all year, even though I'm from California. I'm a Sacramento Kings fan. I am not a Lakers fan. I am not a Clippers fan. I am not a Golden State fan. I'm a Sacramento Kings fan. Been that since forever, bruh. Since Mitch Richmond was out there balling in Sacramento, bruh. That's how long I've been a Sacramento fan. We ain't never got no rings. We ain't never got far. But I ain't switching teams. And a lot of these LA niggas is claiming Golden State when niggas was just repping Kobe Bryant and the Lakers last year. I'm not one of them niggas that's just going to say I'm going for Golden State because I'm from Cali. Fuck Golden State. I don't really care too much for a Golden State, but uh, for this 2K19 game, I'm just glad it ain't a nigga from Golden State on the cover. Goddamn, because I'm sick of seeing these niggas. But uh, for 2K19, 2K, the actual page on Twitter actually changed their picture to the 20th anniversary edition. They changed their picture to that shit too, so you can tell 2K is really getting ready. Not just Ronnie and not just... Uh, Mike Wang and all these motherfuckers, but the actual 2K Twitter is changing a profile around to promote 2K19 heavy. As you can see, you can check it out and look yourself. They changed their picture yesterday, bro, and that really opened my eye up about this whole shit. I'm like, oh, niggas is changing their profile pictures, then they just start making posts, and you know, they posting the same shit Ronnie be posting about it. They will know your name, and they posting trailers and all that other shit, too. I'm just glad they doing something. I'm just mad that they doing it about 2K19. They could have at least put something into 18 to where we could have some fun playing this shit. But for the most part, man, I guess we stuck playing what we got now for 2K18. 2K19, I hope they change it up and they give us a better a better playground, uh, better shots, you know, better animations. Take like 100 animations out the fucking system, bro. You need to take all these different animations out the system. You can look at the screen right now. You say how many animations is going crazy in this game. Look at that. I'm getting blocked without niggas even jumping. They just threw it out of bounds for no reason. Like, if this is still going on in 2K19, bro, it's not going to be a good look for y'all. Everybody wants the game to be a little bit better than it was this year, and I would appreciate if a nigga could get a better game than we got this year. I actually been playing 17 for a couple days, you know what I'm saying? 17 is still lit, even though I noticed on 17 you run hell of, hell of a lot, you know what I mean? Like, you take extra steps. Everything you do is an extra step. They took that out for this one, which I appreciate, but you got to fix the shooting. You got to fix the actual movements. You can just, just fix the fucking game, bro. Fix the lag. And uh, I don't really care too much about going to different parks. As long as you can play in the park that they give us. Like, they, they didn't give us different parks. They gave us one big park. But uh, the gameplay is ass. That's why niggas stopped playing for a while and the game died out. I'm still uploading and making videos because I got friends and fam and you know fans and all the people that want to see more content from me so i'm gonna keep uploading all the way to 19 i don't care what it is bro i'm gonna keep finding something i can do with 2k18 even though we all know this game is ass and a lot of people moved over to fortnite and PUBG. 
and all these other games that niggas playing. But uh, I I just hope they up the ante, bro. Just bring bring back the tigers, bring back the fast skateboard, bro. Bring back the one v ones in the park. You know what I'm saying? Bring back the twenty one. Bring back all that that y'all had at first, bro. Bring that shit back. Bring back change the clothes in the playground. I don't like having to run all the way home just to change clothes. But uh, Ronnie 2K, he actually changed his name to 2K19. His name is Ronnie 2K19, bro. He changed it from 18 to 19. So you already know it. Ronnie changing his shit. This shit is coming soon, bro. This shit is coming soon. They really trying to hype niggas up for the next, like, four or five months before it drops. So for the people that's grinding on, on 18, trying to hit 99, go ahead and knock your shit out, bro. Because by the time you finish, 19 will be dropping and you'll be done playing this shit. I'm glad I hit it early. I ain't got it too much worry about it because I already hit 99. I've been 99 since, what, January, December. So I had plenty of time to have fun on this game as top rep and all that. And I enjoyed it. Everybody who hit 99, shout out to y'all. Everybody who got immortalized, shout out to y'all. All my niggas who still grinding, don't stop, you feel me? Hit my career up daily. But 2K19, they gonna have to do something. Please do something. I don't care what it is. Just change a lot of shit and make it seem like a new game. Don't just make it seem like you uh, used all the same shit and just changed the skin. It seemed like 2K18 was just a skin change. Like how you change skins on Fortnite. It's all the same game, but just gave us a bunch of new skins to go on the game, bro. Don't don't do the skin shit this year, bro. 2K19, please don't do the skin shit. I don't want to hear the same commentary. I want to be able to skip through the cutscenes. Do not give us no hour-long cutscenes. Get rid of Be Fresh and Shammy Wells. I don't know who the fuck gave y'all the idea for them two characters. The fucking butler that get on my goddamn nerves outside my house. Get rid of all that shit, bro. Please do, please do that for 2K19. But uh, actually, the 2K account they actually uploaded this that they would know your name, just like they know the Kings, which is LeBron. Introducing our 20th anniversary edition, you know, cover athlete King James. Pre-order NBA 2K19 now to play four days early, starting September 7th. On the 7th, bro. So y'all got like three, four months to get it in on 2K18. Because you, as you can see, bro, they already got the pre-orders going out. And you can actually probably just buy this shit right now, bro. You can probably go to the game market and probably pre-order this shit right now. So if I was y'all, I would go pre-order. But me, myself, I am already had a game like three, maybe four, maybe six days early again. Like I had it this year. I had the game 10 days early. Because my homie owned a game store and... You know what I mean? Every time any new game come out, as soon as he get the boxes to his store, he hit me, he called me and let me know that he got it and I go and pick it up. Like last year I had, I was already grinding 2K19 before the four days, before the early tip off, I was already grinded because I had the game already for four days. So by the time niggas got it and niggas had it on a real day, which is like three, three days after that early tip off weekend, I was already hitting 90 overall first day, bruh. That's how much grind I was already in because I was ahead of niggas because my, my homie owned a game store. And I'm going to do the same shit this year. I'm definitely going to be a 90 on the first day or whatever overall, you know, that's high enough. You feel me? Before everybody even get to, to start your shit, I'm going to already be like, like six, seven days in on my grind. So I'm going to do the same thing this year. Last year, my character wind up getting deleted. I would have been top rep. I was ahead of G size. I was ahead of... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Nade. I was ahead of Nade. I was ahead of all the motherfuckers, bro. And then my character got deleted. So I'm hoping this don't happen this year. And I can get top rep number one this year. But Mike Wang been talking about 2K19 since December 16th, bro. He been talking about this shit for months, bro. So if y'all following Mike Wang on Twitter, you will know he been talking about this shit for a long ass time. Asking about shot meters and, and layup meters. Asking about pro stick orientations. And I don't know if they're trying to take the absolute camera relative. I don't know if they're trying to take it out and just leave you with one pro stick orientation. You can't go back to camera relative. But it seemed like he been asking a lot of questions about that. He been asking about what do you use your right stick for on offense. Like niggas saying dribble moves. I'm thinking they're going to take everything out and just let the right stick just use for dribble moves. No more shooting for the right stick. You can't shoot and dribble with it. They, they, He actually asking those questions so he can take some shit out the game. So for the people that answered, I hope you got your, I hope you got your wish because that nigga going to take some shit out that some niggas probably really use. 
Some people probably really use camera relativity. Some people probably really use the joystick to shoot. But he don't give a damn once everybody vote and there's more votes on one side. They're probably going to take the other shit out that y'all probably didn't vote for. So for the people that like that shit that, that people didn't vote for, you're going to be asked out in 2K19. Because Mike Wayne, we already know how he rock. He takes shit out the game and he don't tweet no more for three, four months. Everybody complain as soon as he change it and he don't tweet no more. Like, nigga, I fucked up, but I don't give a shit about y'all. So you already know what Mike Wayne going. He on some changing the game, breaking the game. Not fixing the game, but he always breaking the game. He break jump shots. He break, uh, you know, the, the rep that people get. You know, he change all that shit around. And uh, I already know it's coming for 2K19 to where Mike Wang is doing something different. As in controlling your player wise or shooting. Blame all that shit on, on Mike Wang. A lot of people blame Ronnie for the game. But Ronnie don't do shit. He's just the face of the game and the, and the bread, the money behind the game. But Mike Wang is the nigga that fucks shit up. And uh, 2K19, you see, Roddy posted this, said we outdid ourselves with 2K19. But nigga, how did you outdo yourself? All you did was make a goddamn cover with King James on it. But I'm, I'm guessing he talking about the gameplay. If you're talking about the gameplay, nigga, show us. Nigga, show us what you outdid us with. Come on, show us, please. Because uh, just saying I, we outdid ourselves, bro, we don't know what you're talking about. For me, I think you're talking about the font on the goddamn... The picture of LeBron. That's all I can think that you're talking about. Y'all made a, a cool font and put it on the picture. That's what y'all did yourself on. Because we ain't seen no gameplay. So if he talking about gameplay, we cannot confirm that you outdid yourself. And we going to be the one to tell you you outdid yourself. You can't tell yourself you outdid yourself. You got to ask the community what you didn't did. You know what I mean? But you see, that's a GG. My homie splash at three, man. I'm, we just running it up. If you look at it at the screen... Niggas was just on the street running it up in the park, man. Just running game at the game with my nigga Juicy2K. But for the people that like my videos, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. You got anything to say about 2K19, drop it in the comments. I'm Double Peter Compton General, and I'm out. Peace.